Hey guys, what is going on? I'm playing Civ 5 today, and I'm playing as Hawatha of the Iroquois, which means I think the Great Warpath. And special bonuses include units that units move through the forest and jungle and flooding territory as if it was a road. These tiles can be used to establish trade routes upon researching the wheel. And uh, you can make a Mohawk warrior, which is special, long houses, and that's as simple. And I'm playing on Earth with eight players in 16 states. But I changed that because I don't like how many that many state states. Having that many state states, easy because I'm fairly new to this game. Standard, and I will explain why I'm playing as Sif Five first. Because Sif Five, I kind of wanted to do a double Indian thing, being that I can be the Iroquois in this playthrough as Sif Five in this one, and the next one being the Shoshone in Brave New World, which I will be purchasing very soon. And I. uh Hope you guys like the video. So, let's get right into it. Greetings, noble Iowatha, leader of the mighty Iroquois nations. Long have your people lived in the great and holy Lake Ontario, the land that has come to be known as New York State in North America. In the midst of antiquity, the five peoples, Seneca, Onondaga, Mohawks, Cayuga, and Oinida united into one nation, the Haudenosaunee, the Iroquois. With no written language, the wise men of your nation created the great law of peace, the model for many constitutions, including that of the United States. For many years, your people battled great enemies, the Huron and the French and English invaders. Though outnumbered and facing weapons far advanced from the ones your warriors wielded, the Iroquois survived and prospered until they were finally overwhelmed by the mighty armies of the new United States. Oh, noble Hyrule, listen to the cries of your people. They call out to you to lead them in peace and in war, to rebuild the great longhouse and unite the tribes once again. Will you accept this challenge, great leader? Will you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? I never knew that they made the great law of peace that did that. And so, as I said, we can actually see the stats now for the Great Warpath. Mohawk Warriors. They can move twice, but they have 11 strength. A strong frontline landing of the Classical Era. Only the Iroquois may build it. The unit receives major bonus from fighting on the forest jungle. And it's unlike the Swordsman, which it replaces. Longhouses. Maintenance is 2 gold, 2 production, engineer slot, 1 production from every each work tile. Forest tile, which is very good. Let's begin our journey. Double ruins straight out of it. That's great. And if we move down here, I want to see. Uh, let's go here. It's just a lake. All right. But we still got the gold and the ruins. But well, I want to collect the ruins before we do anything. So my score's gonna drop because everybody's found their cities. Let's loop here deer and we've received 20 culture now let's go ahead and found it right here then in Owen Owendaga Owen Owendaga we want uh hmm I don't want pottery first, I guess. Standard, go for the great library. Let's go for... We've already got a free policy, so might as well just go for the scout. See, so yeah, right there, we already hit the free policy. 20 culture. So might as well go for the scout first. And, ooh, what do we want? We want... That gives us growth. All policies will give you 15% growth and two food in each city. We don't really need that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. we kind of don't want. We don't want. Oh no. That gives free worker. That gives free settler. Let's go for liberty, and it's good for border expansion. So we like our lands. Those Indians do. Nice. Thank you. 
Thanks. Let's run this way. Is, it, is that the open land? I hope it's like an inlet right there and it's not an actual lake. Because that would be very bad. Let's move up here. Just leave those barbarians. We don't really need them, do we? Let me see here. Oh, we need to snag those ruins. Can I only go up here once? Yes. Oh, it is a lake. Crap. Oh, well. Um. Odanaga has grown. Next turn. Pottery researching. We have deer. Two deer right here, actually. Let's get on top of that. If this is a lake right before the ocean, I'll be really mad. Put like a city or like a fort right there. Choke point. Go up there. A lot of lakes and forests. More runes. Good. Now, this was on the map. Continents, I believe. Can I see that? Yes. No, map is Earth. Sorry. So this could be anything in reality. But I bet it's probably North America or South America. Yeah, more population. Oronaga has grown. Lots of deer. 100 gold. Horfect. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, Earth. Is that continents? Is that how we play? Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? Isaiah. Okay, then. Let's go up here and then here. Tundra. Not the best. We want writing because we're rushing that. Come up. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Still a lot of water. Still deer and cats. Like a. Uh. Ice. Oh, it is the coast. I have a fit. Uh oh. That's a bad sign. Pearls. Good. We have no luxuries. I just realized. Oh, we have gold. Never mind. But that's about it. I kind of want to see what's over here. But let's just explore it. Silk. That's good. More barbarians. Oops, I'm, I'm doing the wrong click. I'm right-clicking on next turn, and then I'm clicking on the barbarians, which is the opposite thing you should be doing. Uh, let's go this way. That can probably be in the end. But, it's a slow process in the beginning. Another policy, that's great. Settler, worker. We want a settler first, because... Well, we're probably going to go here, I want to say. Ooh. Just wait there in the uh, capital. At least we have you. Sleep. Be inactive till I say. Because we still don't know what's down here. Alright, Scout, you can head back to there. Keep pushing forward. I hope there's not anything up here. That'd be terrible. There's ice. I feel bad for a civilization that spawns there. We got snow and tundra to work with. Nope. Let's get ourselves a granary. Or granary, because... That deer will give us a lot of stuff. We might have to put a city down here if there's not another thing. Or a city up here. Ooh, that... Yeah, okay, there's the end. <sighs> I really want to put a city there because... Oh. What enemy? Oh, snap. I need to get down there. Hold on. Ah, uh, 200 gold. Close, close. 
next turn. Pathfinders will get there. Can't beat him up with the Pathfinders. Oh! Kill him. Fire upon him one more time. Minor victory, that's not what we want. Fall back. So I said I was going to put a city here for the cattle. The silk. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. That allowed science for the library and the great library, which gives you a free technology and a free library. Which, again, boosts the science for every citizen. citizen. So, if I put a city here, there's a, a hill there. There's silk, cattle, cattle. And then it, it'll expand down to here, isolating this border. But I'm really interested to see what's down here, because that... That would make all the difference. Let's start working on the Great Library right now. And let's avoid... Oh. Well, they left. So, oh! Do, 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 do. Doesn't need to heal up, but... Eh. Have them run around this way, maybe. Oh. What did that unit become? Archers! Yay! A lot of mountains. Lots of production with this. This would be... You get to here and stop. You go travel long distance. Incense? Okay. Okay. So there is down here. Ooh, ivory. One, two... Can I get that? One, two, three... Ooh... I think that's three. Or I could put a city right, right here. Work all these mountains. Work the marble. Work the ivory. Work the incense. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Settlers start moving this way. There's no need to not decide. Oh, yes, it's a coast. Cool beans, barbarians. You stay right there. Grab that stone as well. This will be good. This will be good. What did I say? Right there? Yes, that's what I thought. Ranged attack. Waiting for it to stop glitching out. There we go. Animal husbandry. But I think it's... Pillany. Ah, oh, come on. We got plenty of food. We just haven't tapped into it. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. From the Bible, Deuteronomy. Allows pastures on cows and sheep, but it also reveals horses on the map. Oh, we got horses right there. We're Indians, we need horses. Deer, we need trapping. Trapping, right? Mining would be good. Trapping, uh, mining first. Gold's more important than deer and food. Go here, right? Production, 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 production. Food, marble. I don't know wh who's going to reach that ivory, but... Oh, we can't reach that stone, though. So we might have to put a city up here for more food. and yeah, That's next That's next settler's problem. And what do we found? We found Osinsen... Oh, well, there's not an S there. Osinokin... Osinica. There we go. Oi, oi. That is a small city, and it should find. Build a monument. I know it's gonna take you 40 turns, but dang. Build a monument. Our next policy is going to come in. Does it say? Two turns. Let's get these guys home. Keep firing. Kill them off. I just told you what's to do. Stop glitching out on me, Civ. Come on. There we go. I haven't met anybody. If I get this whole continent myself, I will be happy. But there's probably someone... Uh, oh, yeah. the path. I was going to say the Pathfinder. It's like, where are you, Pathfinder? Get in there. But then... He transformed into an archer. Oh, I can't do that yet. I said move there, did I not? 
really glitching out on me, making me angry. So there's our policy. And a hey, bada bang, get us to the worker. Get over there. You'll get mining next turn. Good. Good. Stone. Good. I'm interested to really see what's up there. Now there are only five other players. Five only. Only five more sieves. And a ton of. Oh, there's no one down here. Except, like, maybe there, but that's okay. Who am I clicking on? Who do I have selected? No one. Oh, that was weird. I'm now ahead in the score. The meat shall inherit the earth, but not its mineral rights. <laughs> I love how he said he was like, the meek shall inherit the earth, but not the mineral rights. So that will allow us to construct mines. And now we can build mines. Yay, gold. We can keep exploring. Gems. So, oh, yeah. We are putting a city right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll get to there. Calendar needs plantations, which we'll grab. I may just, like, sit a unit right there just to guard it. And we are now on turn 31, which is where I will stop. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. After I shoot this barbarian. Alright.